everyone so this is the uh, second part of my previous video where I showed you how to connect from SQL developer to uh, SQL server 2019 data database on Windows 10 so here I will show you that how to migrate a particular database from uh, SQL server 2019 to Oracle database for this I will create a new uh, users in Oracle okay and uh, then on that particular user I will just migrate all the table from SQL server so this is my uh, Oracle database Oracle uh, database express edition so now I'll be creating the user so I'll open my uh, system user database okay so if you see the connection property it is a system user from where I will create the database create the user so first write create user c hash hash tmp user identified by tmp user default table space users I'll create it on users table space grant connect resource to c hash hash tmp user okay and you have to do one thing another thing that is you have to uh, whenever you create a user there is a limited quota uh, allocated or granted for that particular user so you have to here do one thing alter user c hash hash tmp user quota unlimited on users here c hash as tmp user is the uh, user whom you want to grant and users is the table space on table space users you are giving unlimited quota to c hash as tmp users okay sorry uh, i have to create the user first i am extremely sorry so let us execute done grant done alt user done okay so this is completed now we will do one thing uh, we already have a tmp user i'll show you here okay so this is a uh, name is tmp user username c has a tmp user password blah 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 role default save password host name okay host name let us go to the oracle database this is the oracle database and this is the host name okay so this is my database enterprise manager you can see the table space here and here we have the host name our host ip address is 192.168.29.219 okay port is 1521 uh, if you want to view the port let me just show you lsnrctl status see port is uh, host is subrol subrol is the um, netbash name uh, the, the computer name i'm using ip address and port is 1521 okay One, let us call, test the connection it is success and um, we will not connect right now now the we have the SQL server opened here the tables is here I'll just select okay. and press shift key on keyboard and select all just click on the last table right click copy to Oracle 
okay destination name i'll select tmp user just replace i know there is nothing if you do not would do not replace doesn't matter okay uh, so i will do it again i'll show you how it replace everything okay now summary you can see here what are the summaries these are the tables which which will be migrated okay and copy option copy ddl replace existing destination copy data and connection this will be the connection okay now okay now let us see the task progress so you can see all the 23 tables have been copied okay so let us go to the tmp user and see see you can see the data everything is there okay so designation master category master is empty okay then employee attendance employee bonus everything okay so whatever data is there if it is empty also it will be copy copied okay so this is how we migrate you can migrate a particular tables from uh, sql server 2019 to oracle mm, database 21c okay so yeah uh, i like to add one thing here that uh, uh, there is a wonderful feature in the migration after the migration uh, first let us just go and open the design of a table in um, sql server management studio okay now if we look at the design uh, there is something called um, incremental id okay auto increment identity specification so if you put this identity specification as yes and identity increment so it should be one okay either unless you have something else in your mind you have some other plans so it is one so whenever a new record new record is inserted this identity is this actually generate by an incremental value like starting from one then two then three and this is a assignment to M emp id this column okay this is the entry specification for emp id so what happened when you insert you don't have to add put any value for emp id it automatically put the next value okay uh, which you get from the entry specification now what oracle has to do because oracle does not have this kind of identity specification it has just created a just a moment sorry i am just went to the oracle sql server part ha huh. this is the oracle part uh, that you have mig migrated see uh, now let us go to the employee master emp id trick now it is checking if inserting because this identity okay inserting is only done in case of inserting so if you know about the trigger this is out of scope of this tutorial to make you understand how the trigger works but uh, here uh, what happens for each row for each insert it checks whether it is a insert not update or delete okay uh, in the crude operation not update not delete not select but insert and what it does see if the um, sequential value is one suppose the trigger is uh, uh, this is created now um, the database is migrated now we have the sequ sequence starting from one because sequence will be starting from one so what will happen in this case because emp id may be there is thousand records emp id may be thousand one or thousand ten or uh, whatever ten thousand something so but the sequence is one we have to match the sequence with the mp emp id and sequence will be next to the emp id value so if it is one you what it does it takes the max emp id value put it in a variable and it increase increase that means it does max emp id plus one then it runs a loop 
in that loop what it does it act it actually take another variable vi interval and uh, it is telling that vi interval when vi interval is greater than v new val then exit okay that means vi interval may be starting from one okay uh, vi interval starting from zero so this condition is not satisfied so it is triggering the sequence next val and putting into into v n well so it is increasing suppose my max mpid plus 1 is uh, suppose 110 so the loop will run for 110 times and the sequence value is increase and it will be in v n well and when the sequence value exceeds that at max mpid plus 1 then it exit that means now my sequence is just one greater than the max mpid so sequence id is and sequence is at the place where it can it can generate the next mpid so the next em sequence will be 111 okay so this is how this is an auto generated trigger uh, that is a replacement of this identity this identity specification which is in sql server so that is all uh, i need to explain about this this is a very interesting part you can go through it after uh, just uh, what's the trigger and how how it is created okay how to manage the um, identity specification so uh, please let me know if you have any query on this okay if you have any questions please ask me if you get stuck anywhere please do comment and i'll try to get back to you to fix your problem so that's all about this please if you like this video please uh, like and share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much